Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're going to delve into Jekt, the newest assassin character as of August. Jekt is pretty fun to watch, and when things are going his way, he looks smooth as hell. Jekt's X skill allows him to cancel any action and immediately follow up with a bravery attack, shield, or dodge. There's a lot of possibilities here, and they're all pretty fun to watch. This allows him to rack up tons of bravery damage, carry an enemy farther than normal so you can lead into a wall rush, or even break through someone's shield with an HP attack and then cancel it into a bravery attack. His X skill only has a 35 second cooldown, so we'll have a few different opportunities to use it throughout a match. He's got a pretty straightforward bravery move set. He has no projectiles, but he has some decent range on some of his moves and also has a rising ground attack and a descending aerial attack, which will allow him to close the gap on enemies. You have to be pretty careful going for his short range neutral moves though, but they've got big damage and are what you often see Jex combo their X skill into. He also has a quick block attack on the ground and air, very similar to Warrior of Light. If an enemy attacks it with a melee attack, they'll be staggered and Jek will have time to follow up. Also, after any successful block, his X skill cooldown is reduced by one second, so you'll often see Jek trying to block anything close by, including projectiles or attacks not intended for him, just to help speed up the recharge on his X skill. His bravery moveset actually reminds me a ton of Kane's, if you trade out the projectiles of Kane for Jek's blocks. He's got a straightforward gap closer, a rising or descending attack, and then a short range comboing attack in the ground and air. As for HP attacks, there's nothing too special here. Two of his are very similar to Titus's HP attacks in Spiral Cut and Energy Rain. So let's dive into our first matchup here and get a look at Jack. Alright, so in this first matchup here, we're going to be following the YouTuber Hyphen, who is a crystal level Jack already, really great player. And the HP attack he's going to be using is called Triumphant Grasps. It's the one that's a lot like Spiral Cut off Titus. It's just kind of like a drop down um, dive attack. Great for using if you're above somebody or they're right in front of you. Alright, so our teams in this are going to be Jekt, Ace, and Sephiroth on the blue team, going up against X-Death, Bartz, and Kuja on the red team. So both teams have a lot of projectiles here, Jekt though has none, so you see how both teams are going to start using that, they're going to stay at a distance like we often see, except for Jekt here. He's going to go ahead and just kind of dash around here, he doesn't have any projectiles to contribute, so he's going to kind of just play around with the enemy team, see if he can catch anyone out of position, and try not to get caught out himself. Now you see him immediately drop down with that Triumphant Grass, pick up some quick damage there on Bartz from above. You see him shielding X-Death's attack there, um, just kind of trying to utilize his speed here. He catches an attack there on Bartz, the two of them are just kind of trading attacks. Jack gets the better of him and knocks him away, building up some bravery. Those are that Triumphant Grasp in case Kuja is going to dash forward, but he does not. Now you see everyone here just kind of brawling. Jack's going to come in, catch an attack there on Bartz, and you see this kind of red sphere around Jack. Just want to point out, this is him using his X skill. So now he's canceled his action, now he's going to lead into another one. And I'm guessing here, um, he kind of used that because he thought, wasn't sure if he could catch that attack on Bartz. So he might have used it just in case he needed to dash away. He did connect on it with Bartz though, so you know he's going to continue dealing damage to him, starting another combo there. Dealing a lot of damage there to Bartz. So now Bartz is going to throw out that Dragoon attack, miss, and Jack is immediately going to throw out his Triumphant Grasp, dealing some more damage there to him. So now kind of regrouping with his team a little bit here. Um, Jack's going to move in. He's got his eyes on Kuja right now, um, just trying to throw out that Jack block. And just in case Kuja was going to come at him since Kuja has superior range there. Um, Kuja did not do that though. Now the Summoning Stone is spawning once again. Jack's going to move over towards it. Blue team is really close to filling up that gauge and they've got it now. Alright, and Jack immediately starts summoning with his team. Now they're going to have Shiva active. He just cut out the animation there. Now it looks like they're going to pick up a kill there on Bards who had really low health. Um, Jack's unfortunately going to run into that Maelstrom HP attack from X-Death but it only dealt uh, 7 HP damage so he's going to be alright. Now with Shiva active, you see Sephiroth using that X skill of his, that green aura, which is going to slow down the red team, so you see blue team getting really aggressive here. Alright, so Jack's going to use his gap closing attack that he has right there on Kuja, uses the X skill, and then following up with his neutral combo, dealing a ton of bravery damage to him. He does get caught out at the end of that though, and um, gets knocked away, but he was still able to build up a lot of bravery there. So now he's back up here, Shiva's using her diamond dust attack, so he's just kind of trying to move in and see if he can catch anybody. Those are triumphant grass, but not really on anyone, um, Kuja did get knocked away. So he's just kind of moving back over towards X-Death right now, going to dodge out of the way of his projectile. Still keeping an eye on him though, it looks like he's pushing him back to a wall and now just not going to commit to anything. He's going to use Enfeeble though, which is going to drop the red team down on the ground here, reducing their stamina bars. So they're all kind of trapped in that spot right there, you see Ace throwing out some attacks, Jack trying to look for a place to go in here. Um, he's going to catch X-Death with an attack, use that exact same combo there, that gap closer, and then into that neutral combo building up his bravery a lot, and then he's going to catch Triumphant Grasp there on Kuja from above, Kuja not able to really see him in reacting time, picking up another kill here. And now Jack right now is comboing with Sephiroth on Bartz, two of them kind of just using some of their bravery attacks, leading into a war rush, and now you see Jack just using his Triumphant Grasp here. Not sure if that's actually like a frame trap or a real mix-up, I've only seen that happen once, but just kind of spamming that Triumphant Grasp there on Bartz, making it difficult for Bartz to know when to get up and move away. 
As soon as Bartz gets up there, Jack able to connect with that triumphant grasp, pick up the kill there. So a really quick match here, kind of showing you the explosiveness that Jack has. Like I said, not sure if that's a real combo or not, but pretty sweet uh, move there with that triumphant grasp at the end. But yeah, you definitely saw a lot of the bread and butter combos here that you see from Jack players. That gap closing attack into his neutral aerial or neutral ground attack, depending on where he is, combo is pretty common just because it can allow you to reach your enemy and then build up bravery and then possibly lead into a wall rush because that um, neutral combo kind of knocks them pretty far away. Triumphant Grasp is a pretty strong HP attack as well, really similar to Titus' Spiral Cut, like I keep saying. Also a very strong move, but just having that snap reaction HP attack is really useful. Just in case, like we saw at the beginning, whenever Bartz whiffed his Dragoon attack before Bartz could really do anything, Jack was able to pick up some HP damage on him. So yeah, just a quick match here to show you some cool things off of Jack. It's got me out of breath a little bit trying to keep up with his moves after using that X skill. But um, yeah, Jack can definitely make quick work of an enemy team if he can get his X skill game going and really get some of those HP attacks off. This team especially is probably one of the most aggressive team comps you can have in, if you want to have a balanced team because Sephiroth is a really aggressive Vanguard character and Ace is also a really quick Marksman character. So yeah, just a really aggressive team here. Great play here by our Jack player. Alright, now in our second matchup here, we're going to be following a different YouTuber named Aerosol. And he's going to be using a different HP attack called Jack Beam. And basically it's just a quick mid-range beam kind of in front of Jack. It gives Jack a little bit of additional range that he doesn't really have. So it gives him an extra option in terms of reaching somebody that's in front of him that he can't maybe reach from one of his attacks. Alright, so our blue team is going to be Jack, Squall, and Cloud. Going up against Squall, Kefka, and Sephiroth on the red team. So there's going to be a lot of speed here with two assassins on the blue team. Red team's got one assassin, but they have Sephiroth who's pretty quick as well. This is a big wide open map, so we'll see um, who this really benefits here. So Jack immediately is just kind of switching targets here, trying to see who to attack. Sephiroth just looks like he's trying to flank a little bit. You see Jack using that Jack block. He's going to catch Squall with that Jack block though, deal a little bit of bravery damage to him, and then dodge out of the way of Sephiroth's attacks. Um, nice, just quick way to get some damage in the there by Jack. And it's smart of him to move out of the way. You see two of the other members on the blue team did get caught by Squall's HP attack, but Jack was able to avoid that. Now red team starting to get their projectile game going here. You see Kefka throwing out those fire guys. Jack is trying to move in here. He's got his eyes on Kefka. He's actually going to catch him with one of his gap closing attacks. Deal a little bit of damage to him, but then Squall is going to follow up with blasting zone while Jack is in the middle of that. Dealing some damage to Jack. Once again, not that much though. So um, Kefka is actually going to catch him with hyperdrive as well. Um, red team has a lot of these long range HP attacks, so blue team's going to have to be careful to watch out for that. Jack moves in towards Kefka, doesn't connect with an attack, so he quickly just moves away, not wanting to get caught out by Squall or anyone else. He has got his eyes on Sephiroth. Sephiroth moved away really quickly though, so uh, Jack wasn't really able to do anything. He uses his mighty strikes there on his teammates to help his bravery game. He's chasing Sephiroth by the Summoning Stone now. Sephiroth's going to turn around with an attack. He's going to go into shield, but Jack's going to use his HP attack to break it. Use his X skill to interrupt that, go into a bravery attack combo to knock Sephiroth onto the wall. And then after building up a ton of bravery with that mighty strikes and that big bravery chain, be able to pick up a kill there on Sephiroth. It's one of the cool mix-ups you can do with that X skill if you're close to a wall. So Sephiroth is back in the game here. You see it's back to a 3v3. Sephiroth's going to get an attack there off on Jack. Jack's going to be able to turn around, dodge another attack though, and use that HP attack. So just, just like I said, it's a really quick HP attack, great for punishing whiffed attacks. He's going to shield Squall's attack there, but he does get caught by Kefka's hyperdrive, taking a little bit more HP damage here. I'm still hanging on to a sliver of his health bar though. Now he's going to interrupt Kefka using his X skill. And I just want to point this out because it's a really cool move and it's tough to catch if you're just kind of watching it straight. But basically, Jack was in the middle of doing a bravery attack there on Kefka. He was keeping his eyes on Squall the entire time though, and you see Squall is about to come down with his blasting zone. So what Jack does, he uses his X skill to interrupt his bravery attack chain on Kefka and just dodges out of the way of Squall's blasting zone. So it all happens really quickly, but basically fantastic awareness um, to dodge out of Squall's blasting zone here. You see, he gets out of the way of it uses HP attack to break Squall's shield, and then deals some HP damage to him. He's going to take a little bit of HP damage again, but he's back to where he was at 800 health because of that HP regain, so nothing to worry about. So just some really smooth play there by Jack. He's going to move over to the Summoning Stone here, put one hit on it to fill up his team's gauge, and then go ahead and start summoning with Squall here. They're kind of leaving Cloud Deck kind of fin for himself, but it's okay because now they've got Ifrit active, so they will have him backing them up. Alright, so now you see um, Blue Team kind of trying to move in with Ifrit. They're all grouped up right now, actually. Um, Jack's going to use that Mighty Strikes while they're all grouped up. Cloud just used HP Regain, and now they're all going to move in. So, looks like Jack has got his eyes on Squall right this second. He turns towards Kefka, though. 
going to attack him. Kakko's going to get that hyperdrive off, though, um, before Jet can really start comboing him. Once again, at 800 health, though, because that HP regain, so it really hasn't lost anything. Blue team is really trying to collapse on Kefka here, trying to do a 3v1. Kefka's using his mobility attacks to just get out of the way. Cloud is going to be able to connect with a bravery attack, but just dealing a little bit of damage and knocking him away. Nothing too serious. So Jack moves in here, um, trying to catch Sephiroth with an attack. He's going to throw out that HP attack, but does not connect. He's trying to interrupt the red team from summoning, though. He's going to move in on Squall, actually pick a, a kill on him as Squall is in the middle of using that blasting zone. Jack came in with that Jack beam to finish him off. So a nice little skirmish there to end things. Red Team was really in a hurry to try to get their summon off, so they probably weren't in the best of positions to do so. They were kind of surrounded by the blue team and just kind of tried to throw it out. So even though they were trying to kind of change the tide of the game, not really the best time to do that whenever you're surrounded. So blue team was able to take advantage of that and pick up the kill. So I really wanted to highlight this match A for that really slick move that Jack did on Sephiroth towards the beginning where Sephiroth whiffs that attack, so Sephiroth then goes into his shield. Jack breaks it with his HP attack. Follows up with a bravery attack with mighty strikes, so he builds up a ton of bravery, leads into a wall rush, and then picks up a kill. That's just a fantastic move. Great situational awareness to know that none of Red Team's teammates are around, and also that you're so close to a wall that you can do that, pick up a wall rush, and then lead into a kill. So just a really cool combo there by Jack. Always want to be aware of that whenever you're playing as him. And then on top of that, you saw some other cool options and awareness by our Jack player, using his X skill to kind of get out of harm's way whenever he knew that an HP attack was coming. So really just kind of showcasing some of the options that you have with that X skill and also just the speed and ability that Jekt has. This HP attack that he was using in this game is a pretty popular one. Like I said, it gives you that range that you don't really have with Jekt. He does have those gap closing attacks, but they have a bit of a long startup. This move really not quite as long. It's pretty quick. So it's just kind of a nice way to punish people or just kind of reach a little further than you normally could. So yeah, definitely a great play here by our Jekt player kind of showcasing what Jekt can do with his X skill. Alright, so our last match we're going to look at here, we're going to switch YouTubers once again to a YouTuber named Sosui. And he's going to be changing HP attacks to one called Jackblade. And basically what Jackblade is, it's just a melee combo that builds up a little bravery before the damage is dealt. Really similar to Fang and Claw from Kane, if you're familiar with that one. Um, but it's just a good one to kind of, if an enemy is close to having their bravery broken, you can break the bravery, build up a ton of bravery before your HP attack deals some damage. So it's just another one of Jack's good HP attacks. So as you can see here, the teams are exactly the same on both sides. We've got Jack, Emperor, and Cloud for both. So a bit more balance in terms of one Assassin, one Vanguard, and one Marksman. Jack's going to be able to work alongside of Emperor and Cloud here. And also, in this big open map, he's going to have to watch out for the enemy teams, Cloud and Emperor, with their projectiles. So you see him being a little more cautious than we've seen in previous games where there have been more Assassins on both sides. You see him just kind of trying to avoid Cloud's tornadoes here and also Emperor's attacks as well. So he's going to move over towards the Red Team's Jack though, um, still playing passive though. The Red Team's Jack does get knocked up by the Emperor, so Jack does combo with that, do a little bit of bravery damage, and then backs away. He's got his eyes on the Emperor right now. Um, the Red Team Jack kind of moved in, so you see Arc Jack move away. Just once again, like I said, playing a little more passive. He's going to drop down into Cloud. He catches him with a bravery attack, so he uses X skill to keep it going. Catches a wall rush there on Cloud and then uses that Jack Blade to deal a lot of damage to him. Nice use of that X skill to build up that bravery and make that attack do as much damage as possible. So he's going to move into the Emperor, catch him while he's in the middle of trying to attack. Just catching him with one of his neutral aerial combos there, just doing a little bit of damage. Moves out of the way of Jack, shields some attacks there, so not to lose any of his bravery. And he catches Cloud once again, dealing a little bit of damage there. Now the Emperor is going to pop him up, Jack tried to combo with it, but Cloud was in those recovery frames so wasn't able to get anything off. Tries to use that Jack Blade on the Red Team's Jack, but um, does not quite connect. He's got his eyes on Cloud once again. The Red Team's Jack comes from behind though, um, does some damage. Our Jack throws out his shield though, so he doesn't get comboed too hard by the Red Team's Jack. Now, looks like the Blue Team's Summon Gauge is full, so you see them all go for the summon here. They're going to get Shiva active, and they're probably going to try to be a little aggressive here now that they have this advantage. They're already up three life bars to two at this point too, so really just going to try and push it. Looks like our um, Jack went after the Red Team's Jack, but wasn't quite able to connect with anything. Looks like Cloud got caught by Shiva, so you saw our Jack player try to attack him. Our Jack player does get caught by the Emperor in doing that though, so he wasn't able to really follow up with any big combo there on the Red Team's Cloud. He does catch the Emperor with a Wall Rush though. Red Team's Jack comes from behind and attacks him before our Jack can kill him with Jack Blade, but he catches him again anyway up in the air while both of those two Red Team members think they're safe and actually picks up a kill there anyway. So nice job to kind of stick with the game there by Jack. Now he's going to catch the Red Team's Jack here with zero bravery, so he's going to break it and build up a lot of bravery himself. 
So it looks like he's going to kind of move in towards the red team here, but as Jack was just hit by an HP attack, he was kind of knocked down to the ground, so our Jack moves away. So he's going to use that Jack block, just an easy way to block some of those slow moving projectiles by the Emperor. And now it looks like he's moving in, trying to help out his teammate here, Cloud, who was kind of caught on the other side of the red team. He's going to move over to the red team member's Jack, though, who had low HP already. You can see the Emperor start to use his HP attack on him, so as soon as our Jack player caught him in a combo, lock him down, he had nowhere to go without getting attacked by Emperor. So great little combo there, nice job by our Jack player to recognize Emperor using that HP attack. So there's no need for our Jack to use one as well, he's able to use his bravery attack to quickly lock down the red team's Jack and finish him off. So really good teamwork here, you see how Jack can kind of play with a marksman character. Since he has those long attack chains with his neutral ground and neutral aerial attacks, he can really lock people down for a relatively long time. So it's pretty easy for other characters to follow up on. So yeah, just another good showcase of Jack showing off a different HP attack here. Jack actually has a pretty decent matchup with the Emperor, it seems like, just because that Jack block is really useful for some of his slower projectiles. That's going to allow Jack to build up his X skill um, cooldown, bring that back up, so that'll allow him to use X skill more often. And because of his speed, of course, he can get in pretty well on other marksman characters. So yeah, I think this kind of showcases a lot of what Jack can do. He's relatively straightforward, you know, like a lot of other assassin characters. He's really just all about putting out damage and just kind of mixing up the enemy team's marksmen and all their characters making it difficult for them to do what they want to do. And he does a great job of that with that X skill, allowing him to push out a ton of damage or use it however he needs, like we've seen in some of these games where he uses it defensively to get out of the way of attacks, or able to break shields and lead into a ton of HP damage. So his X skill really gives Jack a lot of options and gives him some opportunities that other assassin characters might not be able to do. It definitely allows him to put out more burst damage than most assassin characters are capable of. When his X skill's on cooldown though, like I said, he kind of reminds me of Kane. He's got a pretty straightforward bravery move set. He has options with that as well, just with that gap closer and just with the long attack chains that can allow his teammates to follow up on. So, you know, really not that many cons to Jack other than maybe his short range on some of his attacks, making it kind of difficult to get in on people. But once you connect, he can definitely do a ton of work. His Jack block is also good for making melee characters think twice about moving in on him, because that definitely gives him the upper hand if he can catch someone with that. His strong HP attack game is pretty useful for Jack too, just because he has a lot of viable HP attacks that all have really different benefits. So like for example, having that drop down from Triumphant Grasp can really catch people off guard and make them need to be aware of where you're at. Or having maybe the additional range on Jack Beam can be more impactful against certain team comps. So really it just keeps your opponents guessing on what they need to watch out for from Jack, which is always a good thing. Some characters you see really only have like one or two viable HP attacks, but I think all three of the HP attacks that we saw here on Jack are viable and pretty strong. I'm interested to see if Jack falls on any specific sorts of team comps, because like we saw in, I, can't, I think it was the first game, maybe the second game, the team comp where it was Jack, Sephiroth, and Ace. Like I said, that was so much aggression right there, and I'm just curious to see how well some sort of incredibly offensive aggressive comp would do in um, a tournament setting or against other coordinated teams, because it's probably really difficult to deal with something so aggressive with um, Jack's X skills and just the amount of aggression that Sephiroth himself can put out as well. So definitely interested to see what kind of team comps Jack falls on. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed my overview here. Definitely check out the three YouTubers that we followed here. Um, check out their channels. They're all really good players. Play some other characters other than Jack, but they definitely have strong Jacks as well. So I've got their channels linked down below, so give them a look. Appreciate you guys watching as always, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.